it looks like uh, Captain Gopinath, the politician in the recent times may or may not succeed, but he is clearly succeeding in getting foreign investment for his new venture, the cargo airline. Arjit Banerjee finds out new suitors are lining up. Deccan 360, that's what Captain Gopinath is calling his new cargo airline. And despite the Deccan connection, it's not low cost. And he is already in talks with investors to offload stake in his new venture. Unlike passenger airlines, India allows foreign carriers to buy up to 74% in cargo airlines. Singapore Airlines Cargo and FedEx are the two suitors eyeing stake in the airline. Singapore Airlines Cargo appears to be the front runner and may invest 30 to 40 million dollars in the carrier. Talks are also on with Intel and IBM to buy 20% stake in the company for around 30 million dollars. The airline is currently valued at around 135 million dollars. I've invested 25 million dollars now and uh, uh, we have some term sheets. I can't disclose the names, but I thought I'll wrap up the syndicate two, three months down the line after the revenue streams come in, after the launch, because then it will be uh, better for uh, getting a, you know, uh, funding and a better valuation. Captain Gopinath may have got it right the first time when he decided to enter the no-frills, low-cost aviation business. But now he's getting into the cargo business at a time when globally it is not doing well. However, Captain Gopinath claims there's room for growth. The Indian Express cargo market is only one-sixth of China's at around $700 million and growing at 15%. He expects his entry will only help to grow the market as it happened with airlines in India. In New Delhi, Orijit Banerjee for NDTV Profit.